Hello. Are you so awake? Yeah. This is my hand and this is you. So little. You're a little bit jaundiced. But so was Emmeline. Huh? Hi. Very wide awake. Nice to see you awake today. How many days old are you, Alice? Three days. Three days old. And your clothes are way too big because you're so little. Are you nice and warm? Probably getting hungry. A little bit hungry. Yeah. Let me see your socks. <laughs> what kind of socks are those? Socks that constantly feel like they're falling down. I don't like them. I don't like you. They can't what? seriously be for men though. They are. Let me see. What does it say? Here, put them on my foot. Put it on my foot and we'll see. It's like the, the ruby slipper. They're the same on me though. Look, they're exactly the same. Of course same. they're the same on you. <laughs> they put in my drawer. One <laughs> pair of socks less for you. Hi, Hemi. You good boy. Hi, kittens. Hemi, you, you look rough. Is it difficult to have a new baby around? Yeah. Hi, daddy. It looks baby. rough too. Daddy is rough. Yeah, but daddy slept more than mommy, but mommy, mommy's doing well. But that's because mommy's supposed to be able to do that. Look. He's having a, he's having a rest with you. I love it. Hemi's upset with me because I'm in his space. Look at all three of the boys are on the bed. We've got Hemi, we've got daddy, and we've got baby. And all the girls are not. I'm up. I've been working. I've literally been working, cleaning the room. Chelsea's running around. And Emily's downstairs. <laughs> Not around. So it's just the three boys that they they can't take it. They can't handle it. They're so tired. <laughs> I need a shower. I need to find clothes. And I need to, to eat something. I do. I really do. What's the date today? It's Monday. It's Monday. So Ellis is four days old now. I can't believe that was four days ago that happened. It's such a massive event and when it happens, obviously I was like really present in the moment. But then the days after everything's kind of this crazy blur and it's been so busy in the house. There's just been hundreds of people here. So like a distant memory. You know that Alvin? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a distant memory. Like I haven't had time to like come home and realize what's happened and come into a calm environment. It has not been like that at all, not with Emmeline, not with Alvin, not with me, nothing like that. Although the baby's been pretty, pretty cool about it. Pretty cool about it. All right, I'm gonna go get ready. All right, how long has Ellis been awake for? How long have you been awake for, Ellis? So long. I mean, he's really been awake since, when? what time is it now? 12. He's been awake for like what? 10.30 to 12. Is it? An hour and a half. Mm. During the day he's only been awake for like 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there. And all of a sudden right now he's been awake for an hour and a half. I can't decide if it's because he's, he's actually being awake or if he's just uncomfortable and can't fall asleep. Because I've noticed that with him. That he really wants to be in a specific position and then he'll fall asleep. Oh my goodness, he's so awake. Yeah. Alice, are you looking around? His feet. Look at his um, pants. 
I know, let me see. Oh my goodness, put his hat on. Where's this super cool hat? Check out Alice's hat. Look at this. Okay, we're gonna put this on him and then I'm gonna show you how cute he is. Okay, hang on. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Alice, look at mommy. <laughs> oh, do you hear your cousin? It's not your sister, that's your cousin. Oh, he knows. <laughs> like, he doesn't know. <laughs> okay. Do you feel better? Yeah. It's you! It's you! It's you! It's you! Goodness me, are you sneezing? Four sneezes in a row. Hmm. So you were uncomfy because your nappy was wet, huh? It's you! So much sneezing today. I know. Can you believe it? So much sneezing. Would you like to have some milk and have a nap? Maybe. Maybe, baby. Huh? Oh, so I've just brought Ellis up, who's four and a half days old. So thinking about this right now, what time is it? It's like 8.30. We were leaving for the birthing center at 8.30 on, and I was in pre-labor. We just thought we should go because Emily came so quickly, remember? So I just, we were like, oh, pre-labor, but Emily was really quick. So we went and we were leaving at 8.30 last Wednesday. It's Monday. I cannot believe it's been four and a half days, like five days since, since he was born. Like it's just such a massive experience when it happens. And let me cover you up. It's such a huge experience. And it's just so insane when it happens. And it's like the, one of the biggest things that you'll ever experience in your whole life when you have your baby. And it's just weird that it's, so quick. I mean, it's just like a minute in your life. It's, it's like nothing in the grand scheme of everything you do in your life in terms of time, but it's a massive event. And I feel like you just kind of want to sit there in that moment for a minute and enjoy it and just soak it up. And even though you do that, and even if you do do that, it's just like, it's gone. It's like whoop, that, that moment, that feeling that you get in that moment. It's just crazy to me. It's difficult to go from being pregnant to not being pregnant. It's such a huge physical event on your body and then you you keep thinking like, oh, I haven't felt the baby move. Oh no, does none of the baby's out. <laughs> and looking down at, you know, your stomach is like gone. Like, look, I don't have, I have a, a brace on here, like a, a wrap. Um, but you can see, I don't like, where's my belly? Like, where's my baby? It's gone. It's just, it's like, obviously there's still a little bit there, but you have this huge stomach and your baby's in there and they're like part of your body and then they come out and they're not. And it's just like, it's just a massive overwhelming experience. It's really bittersweet in a way. Like you think, oh my God, like you're finally here and it's so exciting and you're out, but then you're like, you kind of lose that, that part of your life, like being pregnant, even if you hate it or it's good for it to be over. Like I prefer not to be pregnant, <laughs> but it's, it's just a massive event. And it's, especially with being really emotional, you know, after you have your baby, it's, it's like, when you think about it, you're like, oh my God, like, I can't believe that. I just, I'm so thankful with my, my body was able to do and that I have two beautiful, healthy kids. And I'm so thankful that I was able to do that, but it could be the last one. It might have been my last time being pregnant, it might have been my last time, you know, having a baby and it's just really weird to think that and it's, I mean, it was it's just the biggest thing I've ever done in my whole life. My kids. Absolutely. It's very emotional. <laughs> Alright, you little nugget. Oh, it's my little nugget. Oh, it's all my little nugget. You're feeling your hair. Your hair. And your head and your ear. Do you feel your ear? Yeah. This is the camera. I'm going to get you on film because I didn't film much of Emmeline and I'm disappointed. Oh, should we, should we get you ready for, for bedtime? You've had a very long day today. 
Yeah, you're hung. I know. I know. You're hungry. I know. I know you're hungry. Okay. Let's get you to bed, okay? Say goodnight. Can you say goodnight? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. You're just a beautiful boy. So I say goodnight. Five days old. Now this is finally napping. Um, I have to be a bit soft because he doesn't really like loud noises as we've found out. If it's familiar to him like a bunch of kids playing around which I've been around the whole time he's fine with it but if it's something different like a loud radio he's like no I can't sleep. <laughs> so it took me forever to get him to sleep this morning. He woke up he was sleeping in this morning with me and then he woke up and then we went downstairs. He woke up, I don't know why, he just woke up at like 9.30, took him downstairs and then he could not sleep. It was just too noisy and he was crying because he really wanted to go to sleep. He didn't want a nurse to sleep so I finally got him to sleep like 10 minutes ago and I tried to take a nap but I can't so I'm going to try and work on my vlog and stuff. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see. morning and welcome to Wednesday. It's Wednesday today. Hopefully I'm in, my camera doesn't want to focus on me. I don't know how much time I have. Um, but Ellis is sleeping. He's sleeping there. He's really cozy and I'm picking out outfits because we don't have that many clothes that actually fit him. Everything is huge on him and I don't really mind what he wears to be honest but it's really difficult for me to breastfeed him and to you know you know, to do that with a bunch of baggy clothes all in the way. So I'm trying to go through things that I think are small enough to actually fit him. And I do believe that these two outfits with a t-shirt, it's okay. And then I'll just wrap him in blankets. I put a wool sweater on him. Got this little wool sweater. This was Emmeline's wool sweater that Alvin's mom knit. And you can see it here. It has little geese on it. And it was huge on Emmeline and it's huge on him, but it's so cute because they're so little. Aren't you just so little? Yeah. Oh my goodness, my boy. I can't believe he's almost a week old. If you were to ask me a week ago today if I was going to go into labor, I would have been like, no way. Absolutely not. I thought he was going to be born around now, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of this week. So these past couple of days. Oh, the cute baby stretches. Oh, I know. You need a nappy. I know. We should change you, huh? That was the littlest yawn I've ever seen. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get his stretches on camera because when Emmeline did it when she was a newborn, I was like, I love it. It's so cute. I never got it on camera and it's so hard to catch it. You have to have the camera going. So I just had to flip it. He has a doctor's appointment today, so we're going to bring him to that. And hopefully everything's still going well. And yeah, I mean, that's, that's the plan. But I cannot believe he's almost a week old. It's really emotional for me to think about that. Look at that. There's no more bump. Like nothing. There's none. I also have no more butt either because I wasn't able to work out this entire pregnancy because of the pain and everything like that. But that's another story. <laughs> So I'm gonna go get ready and try to get dressed and we'll see what today what happens today But I can't believe he's about a week old. I can't I'm just like oh my god They get big so fast. They really do. It'll be interesting to see how much he actually weighs today All right, I'm going Okay, my baby are you ready to go? We are bringing Ellis to a doctor's appointment and Emmeline is going to come with us. I look exhausted because that's how you look after you have a new baby. You look exhausted. But it's okay, it's worth that. Alright, I'm still having trouble breathing. But it's going to be alright. So I'm going to bring him. I'm going to get Emmeline ready to go. And then we're going to go to his little doctor's appointment. Hopefully everything's going well. And 
Hopefully he's gained some weight and I mean we always hope for good news, don't we? So that's what we're gonna do. Let's go, Ellis. The sleepy baby. Let's go. Hi Bean. I mean, we're Daddy. almost filling up our car. Daddy. Look at this. Daddy. And then uh, we've got a little baby here. Where's <laughs> look at this? Where's Ellis? I barely fit Daddy. in this Yo. car with two children. <laughs> it's gonna be a tight ride. Oh, um yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I do not. I don't know. We can't get the baby seat out of the car. Can you do uh, the silver thing? No, that's not to get it out. We're stuck in the car. Good job, Emmeline. What you doing? Are you playing with all the toys? Oh, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Emmeline, Emmeline, hi, what you doing? Where's Ellis? They're gonna weigh him. Do you wanna see? They're gonna see how much he weighs, how big he is. What is your baby? Ellis is out there. He's getting weighed. We're gonna see how much he weighs. How was it? Was it just? Did we make it back home, Ellis? Yeah. <laughs> you look pretty happy. Yeah, you happy, happy? I can hear your sister. She's she's crying outside. Which she's with Daddy though. She's gonna get ready for bed. Brush her teeth. <laughs> you wanna give me big stretches? No. No big stretches? No, little stretch. Oh, you happy? I like your smile. You're handsome. Beautiful smile. You've just had a very long nap, you have, yeah? <laughs> you know it, though? You know it? I know it. You've had a super nap. No, no stretches then? <laughs> Is it bright? Oh. <laughs> Are you laughing? <laughs> Are you laughing? Extremely cute. You just have to keep the camera rolling if you want to get the good stuff, huh? <laughs> Is it so? Chelsea, are you laughing at the kitties? <laughs> so we made it back from the appointment, barely. It took us forever. We had massive meltdowns in the car. I couldn't get him in the car seat. So he didn't want to go in. He was crying. I felt, I was like, I'm going to cry because I was sitting there trying everything to get him to go in the car seat and I would nurse him and then I'd put him in and he just didn't want to be in there. And it was so awful for me. And then at the same time, Alvin was like, I'm going to quickly run to the store with Emmeline, right? Mistake. She was crazy the whole time. She took a handful of loose almonds and just threw them apparently in the whole store. She had many like temper tantrums and then she took a bite out of all these different fruits. So now I had to buy them. So she just took a bite out of a fruit and put it back and took a bite and put it back. And I was like, oh my God. By the time I took one fruit out of her hand, she had another, but we made it home in one piece. I'm gonna open the little gift. Okay. Little gift for Ellis. 
This is his first gift. This is his first gift. I just gonna say His first gift. Oh my goodness. <gasps> it's so cute. Oh, it's got, got a bouncing happy rabbit on it. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at that. It's so That's cute. Fabulous. It's for the winter. It's wool. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. I love it. It's name it. Well, that should fit in like now. Really? I think so. Let me see it. You can always get a bigger it's size. It's not going to fit in. Crazy. Let me see. Well, he is. <laughs> it's not going to fit in. Maybe if he was normal. 